education in the Arab countries uh, uh, are uh, uh, fluctuating. Uh, it's different from one country to another. For example, like Yemen, uh, suffering from low level of education, uh, it's uh, around 30% of uh, the population are educated. Uh, and uh, that's considered one of the lowest uh, between Arab countries and over the world. Uh, it's because, in my opinion, uh, uh, it's, it's uh, uh, not willing to, to, to open uh, for the foreign, uh, foreign market, uh, whether it is economic or education or politic side. And uh, it's connected to the culture itself. Uh, uh, still, the tribes, big tribes in Yemen, are governing the country. And uh, this uh, will uh, stay forever like this if, uh, if, it, if the democracy doesn't uh, uh, start uh, ruling uh, instead of uh, these uh, tribes' uh, systems. Uh, about Egypt also, uh, they have the lowest uh, uh, or they have the highest uh, they have the highest percentage of uh, uh, poverty and uh, uh, still the economics are very down uh, that's one of the reasons that they don't have like uh, well educated people uh, uh, comparing to the whole population but like Egypt you have uh, a lot of uh, uh, per persons where, where they have been uh, famous over the world uh, about Syria, uh, Syria uh, is a different case because Syria uh, doesn't want to uh, uh, go for the foreign market or treat uh, uh, with any other uh, Western uh, power uh, or getting benefit from any uh, most poor countries like US or UK. Uh, that's one of the reasons they are they are close together and they didn't get any. Uh, uh, from outside uh, so that's it